going on everybody so part two of why dry CPAP is damaging your lungs and you should use a humidifier we've had a few questions one of the great questions of the night last night was from Sean where he says thanks for the video however I'm not sure I understand why skipping the humidifier is actively bad for your lungs can you explain why not using the humidifier is any worse for your lungs than just regularly breathing throughout the rest of the day isn't it the same air what about people who live in very dry climates like Arizona? Are they damaging their lungs? There's a great question asked by Sean. So when we breathe in normal room air, our mucous membranes in our nose and our mouth moisturize the air that goes into our lungs. Anytime you use positive airway pressure, whether it's from a CPAP machine like the ones you see in front of me, a mechanical ventilator in a hospital, an airvo, or any type of positive airway pressure going into you, even high flow oxygen devices it's very important you have humidity because that pressure that volume is bypassing your natural body's ability to humidify that air and i thought it was best to put it in a diagram to show you what exactly happens in the winter time in drier climates like arizona where people are more susceptible of getting sick and using a machine without a humidifier is actually doing to your lungs this is a microscopic video animation of the cilia on your lungs below those little hair like fibers with a saline layer and a gel layer above it. So when pathogens enter your lungs, they go on top of this gel layer. And as the cilia move it, it goes into your larynx where you can cough this up. And this is where the relative humidity is at 70%. It's been shown that anything above 45%, this layer is gratefully intact. When you use dry CPAP or you're in the winter months, relative humidity goes lower. As you can see, as we're getting below 50%, that gel layer is becoming smaller and smaller with pathogens can penetrate the cells and get into your lungs and do damage to that cilia. So that's why it's so important in the winter time to have relative humidity at at least 45% if you can do that in your room. In the same token, making sure you use a humidifier anytime you use a positive airway pressure device. That's it, everybody. If you liked the video, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. And if you would like me to do any other videos or touch upon any subjects or you have any questions about this video, I would love to answer them. Have a great night, everybody, and God bless you.